Hi and welcome to MicroStrategy. My name is Michael Hoffmann and I'm working as a principal sales engineer for MicroStrategy Germany. With the following video I will show you how you can create advanced PowerPoint charts with the MicroStrategy Office plugin and third-party graph libraries. Um, as you might know, MicroStrategy provides an Office plugin and with that you can create automatically uh, highly formatted graphs in PowerPoint. But sometimes these uh, capabilities are not enough and we need more freedom to configure these graphs. And sometimes these graphs are very specific, so for example high complex waterfall graphs or so, and in this case MicroStrategy Office plugin cannot fulfill all these requirements. And I will show you how you can bridge this gap where we combine the Office plugin with third-party graph libraries so that we get the perfect PowerPoint charts. Okay, but before I show you how to do this, let's take a look at uh, what do I mean with, let's say, specific graph types. And uh, I will make an example uh, with a waterfall and there is a company out there that provides a really cool PowerPoint plugin called ThinkCell. And uh, I will show you later how we can integrate these specific and powerful graphs uh, in the creation process of um, PowerPoint charts in combination with the MicroStrategy Office plugin. Okay. What you see here is a PowerPoint slide. And in this slide we see a very specific waterfall. This waterfall works data-driven. So this is not a picture. Uh, this uh, visualization is based on a graphical library that comes from uh, ThinkCell. And ThinkCell is a provider for an office plugin uh, that can generate these kinds of graphs um, in, in, in PowerPoint. Yeah? And the graph is generated in a data-driven way. And my approach is to combine these capabilities with the MicroStrategy Office plugin so that we can automate the process from the data to the visualization into the PowerPoint slide. Okay, I will show you another example as well. So, for example, these gun charts, um, things that provide a lot of different chart types and this is only one example how you can combine these kinds of libraries uh, with, with the MicroStrategy Office plugin. Okay. In the next step, I will show you the final result. So, what did I create? Yeah, Based on the combination of the Office plugin, um, Microsoft PowerPoint and a third-party graph library like ThinkCell. And then after that I will show you how to set this up. Okay, so let's take a look first at the final result. What you see here is a PowerPoint slide, a PowerPoint file with two slides. And uh, the first slide here, it, it shows you a ThinkCell waterfall. As I mentioned before, this waterfall is data-driven. So uh, our uh, intention is to uh, make MicroStrategy the provider for this data in combination with security and governing settings. And um, we can do this. So we can link the data to this ThinkCell graph by using uh, Office functionality and um, embedding functionalities of the, of the Office environment. This is the first example. I will show you how to set this up later. And this is the second example. This is a standard Excel chart. So this is not a chart generated by the MicroStrategy Office plugin. Uh, as you might know, MicroStrategy can generate these kinds of graph. And these graphs can be images or, or Excel-like objects. But sometimes you want to use all the formatting capabilities uh, within Excel. And this is an example how you can do it this way. So this is really a complete 100% Excel chart generated with Excel but linked to data that comes from MicroStrategy. Yeah? So you see we have two options here. One option, very specific waterfall chart from ThinkCell. Second option here, Excel files. And I think you can do it similarly with, with other graph libraries. Okay. So in the next step, uh, I will show you um, the starting point, uh, how, we, how we can set up this scenario. All right. 
what you see here is my empty PowerPoint file with two slides and these slides uh, show the visualizations, the waterfall in the first slide, the Excel uh, graph in the second slide, but uh, data is not yet in these slides, so these slides needs to be updated with the data that come from MicroStrategy. And uh, I will show you how it will look like if we start the PowerPoint again in order to update um, the graphs. So I close the PowerPoint. But before I do this, uh, please take a look here. I have two files here, one PowerPoint file and one Excel file. And the Excel file is for the data interface to MicroStrategy. Yeah? So I'm using the Excel file as a kind of data interface. MicroStrategy pumps the data into this Excel file and then based on the data we create the visualizations uh, for the things the waterfall and for the Excel-like visualization. Okay, so first uh, I will start the Excel file and you see here this is the data yeah, that comes from MicroStrategy. Based on this data, yeah, we create the Excel graph. This is the Excel graph. And this is a specific grid that points later to the waterfall SyncCell visualization. And in ThinkCell, you need to follow a specific grid design yeah, to, to visualize the very specific graph types. And, um, and this grid that you see here is based on the data that comes from MicroStrategy. So I designed the grid on my own and I referenced elements of these grids to the data that comes from MicroStrategy. All right, so first I would like to show you uh, the update process. So if I click here on the MicroStrategy Office plugin and I click Refresh and I need to log in and then the report is updated and now you can see uh, this is the Excel graph. Yeah? It's a pure Excel graph, so not a MicroStrategy graph that comes from the MicroStrategy Office plugin. And this is the representation of the data grid that uh, needs to be provided for the waterfall yeah? that comes from SyncCell. Okay, so keep in mind the graph is an object that is embedded into the PowerPoint file and same with this grid here the waterfall chart in the PowerPoint file um, is linked to this grid here, this specific grid that stands for the data that needs to be put into the waterfall. Okay, and now let's go back to the PowerPoint. And now the rest is magic. So you just start the PowerPoint, you just click update and then schwoop, everything is updated and you see the correct waterfall and you see the graph here uh, that was updated based on MicroStrategy data. Okay, let's go back. I close the PowerPoint. I go back here to the Excel file and I change the values here. Okay, so let's say 200,000 and you see it's really reflected directly in the graph. You see it's reflected here uh, in this grid that stands for the ThinkCell waterfall. And now I go back to the PowerPoint presentation. I start the presentation, I update the data, and you see the data is immediately reflected in the graph. So no additional menu items to click, uh, no checkboxes, nothing. Just start the PowerPoint and then the data is updated immediately. Okay. Um, Let's get back. One last example. I click on MicroStrategy Office plugin, refresh. Okay, data is refreshed again. I start the PowerPoint. I update the links. And then you see data is updated immediately in PowerPoint. All right. Um, one last thing I would like to mention. I want to show you how you need to configure the uh, the update mechanism so that the update mechanism works immediately uh, if you start the PowerPoint presentation. And the configuration of this update process is different in regards to uh, Excel specific files and in regards to ThingCell components. So first I would like to show you how you need to um, configure the automatic update process for Excel graphs. So therefore you need to click here on File, 
info and then edit links to files and here is the link yeah, to the data component to the Excel file that provides the data for our embedded Excel graph. And you need to check this checkbox, automatic update. Yeah? If you change the location of this file, no problem, you can update the location here uh, quite easily, but it's important that you check this checkbox, otherwise the data is not updated automatically when you start the PowerPoint. Okay, for a sync cell it's a little bit different, okay? So uh, this is the ThinkCell graph, and if you install ThinkCell on your client computer, it's a plugin for Office, and you can see this plugin here, ThinkCell, and in the plugin you get access to all the specific graphical elements, and believe me, they have hundreds of options, so you, you have really a, a wide range of functionality to create really high sophisticated graphs, and in here, in the More menu item, there's a sub-menu called Data Links. And here you can see all the graphical components you're using within your PowerPoint slide. And you need to check the Auto checkbox here. If this is checked, then the data is automatically updated when you run the PowerPoint, when you open the PowerPoint. And then you can save it, and then you're done, and you have your final results. Okay, and with that, I would like to thank you for your attention. I think with these capabilities, we have a lot more options to create really high, sophisticated and good-looking PowerPoint slides with cool graphs, even if we need to combine external libraries with the MicroStrategy Office plugin. Thanks a lot for your attention, and bye-bye.